Hello, uh, today I'm going to share how to uh, develop logsic plugins from using Replit. So what we are, we are not going to create a plugin from scratch. Instead, we are going to uh, borrow someone else's uh, plugin and then we are going to make some really small changes and unload that changes into your own logistic. So I just prepared this uh, page to illustrate what kind of steps are required. So we need to, and for the prerequisite of this uh, video is that you already have accounts in GitHub and Replit. So in GitHub, what we need to do is we need to first to fork a repository that we are going to use as a base. Then copy URL of the repository, which we will later use in Replit. So come to Replit, we can create a repo using the URL that we just copied from GitHub, and then make necessary code changes and rebuild the plugin and download the plugin from Replit into your local directory. Then we need to unzip the plugin and then we can load the unpacked plugin into our own logistic. So let me first share the, the plugin that we are going to modify. So let's go to this uh, YouTube video and then let me first, I first need to uninstall this one and yes and then go to marketplace and I'm going to install this media controls okay so so it's installed so with this particular plugin what we can do is we can insert this media controls and it renders this kind of component and with this plugin we can actually control the play speed. So let me just play the video. What did Harry Potter? So this is very like, you know, convenient if you want to uh, change the play speed of the YouTube videos instead of going into this like, you know, settings up uh, YouTube video, right? But some of you may want to change the play speed at more granular level. What I mean by that is like, you know, for example, uh, 0.85 or 0.95 or 0.1.05. Uh, so right now, as you saw, it is set at 0.8, 0.8 nine and 1 1.0, 1 1.1, 1 1.25, something like that. But what we are going to do in this uh, video is we are going to change it to 1.8 and 1 1.85, 1.9, 1.95, something like this, 1. And 1.05 and 1.1, etc. Right? So let's do this. So let's come back to this page. And this is the uh, GitHub repository that we are going to use for this demo. So I already have this uh, page in here. And then in GitHub page on the upper right hand side we have this fork and if you click on this button you can fork this repository into your own repository and I, I already did that so this uh, gjige is my uh, username in github and I already uh, forked this plugin source code into my own repository so in here if you click on this uh, code and there is this HTTPS and by clicking on this uh, small button, 
it will copy the URL of this repository. So after that, now what we need to do is we need to create a repo, the stem number three. So we need to create a repo from Replit. So let's open up Replit. And in here, you can create repo. And for this, I'm going to select node.js. And if you're like hacker, if you have a hacker plan, then you can actually create a private repo. But for this uh, demo, I'm just leave it as a public and click on this create repo. We'll generate a brand new repo under your account. And in here, on the left hand side, we have this version control. So click on this button and what it does is you can create your uh, repo from the Git repository. So click on this existing Git repository button and just paste the URL that you earlier copied and then import from GitHub. Will generate another repo with the source code that are stored in your repository. So it will take some time. So let's wait a little bit. And the file that we are interested in is this index.ts. And if you look at this file in under this playback speed, we have this like you know array values so what we are going to do is as i mentioned earlier we are going to just add uh, additional play speed right so 0.85 0.9 and 0.95 1.0 and 1.05 something like this and 1.15 and we will remove other play speeds right so this is done so this is the changes that we intended to make so after these changes we need to uh, rebuild this uh, plugin and for that you probably first need to uh, delete this uh, log file so let's remove this delete uh, the log file and then in the shell what we are going to do is mpmi it will install the necessary packages for this particular uh, plugin and once it is done then we are going to run another command which is this npm run build so yes so this is done now we are going to run npm run build Okay, so if there is no problem, you will see this kind of message that built in, built in the number of seconds, right? So once the rebuild is completed, what we need to do is come here and then download as zip. The file size is about like, you know, 84 megabytes. Okay, so it's been downloaded. So now I just need to open the now go to finder and then I'm going to unzip it. Okay, so the Plugin has been unzipped and to load this unpacked plugin, you first need to enable the developer mode and we can do that from the settings page and on the advanced section. On the third option is this developer mode and as a default, it probably like, you know, turned off. So you need to turn it off. And 
the difference you will notice is without this developer mode you will not see this load unpack plugin in the plugins page but since we enabled this uh, developer mode now we see this load unpack plugin but to load the unpack plugin you first need to make sure that the plugin that you install from marketplace has been uninstalled so this media controls i'm going to first uninstall it okay yes and now i'm going to click on this load unpack plugin and i'm going to select the this directory and click on open then you will see the newly added plugin with this like you know unpacked message right so with that in place now let's come back to this page again and then I'm going to add the media controller one, one more time so insert media controllers then now if we click on this uh, button now you can see it increases by 0.05 right so 1.1 1.15 and 1.2 and so on right so that's it this is how you can modify plugin and load the plugin into your own logosic so to recap what we have covered in this video is first you need to uh, fork a repository from github and copy the url of the repository where you uh, fork the repository and come to replit create repair using the url and make necessary code changes and rebuild the plugin and to rebuild the plugin you first need to run the npmi and then every every package are after every package are installed run this uh, npm run build again and it will rebuild the plugin after that download the plugin as a zip file and in your local directory unzip and unpack the plugin and in logsig you first need to enable the developer mode if it hasn't been enabled yet and from the plugins page using this load unpack plugin you can load the unpack plugin that you unzipped earlier and just please make sure that if you already installed the same plugin from marketplace first uninstall the plugin before you load this unpacked plugin that's it thank you for watching